Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Moonstone Matriarchy, um, an all-girl D&D campaign with uh, kick-ass sexy women both inside and out of the campaign. Um, I'm Isney Stars, and you can find me online in places like TikTok and Instagram, and I will be your shenanigans sovereign this evening. Um, so, the show, the channels, wait, hang on, with the channels, the show's on the channel. That's Those are the words that I meant to say. You're uh, doing great. I'm so good. Uh, tonight, we have obviously the Moonstone Matriarchy Mondays. We have the Iowan Adventures at 7.30 p.m. EST, a, a D&D campaign that I DM. Um, Monday nights, that's Monday nights, Tuesday nights, we have State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign at 7.30 p.m. EST, uh, with DM'd by uh, Cottlesworth with myself and uh, Katie and our, uh, our jerk of a DM, who's my DM, um tech player that i'm having issues or tech person that i'm having issues with right now because i've been crying all day from our last game and i'm not having i'm not i'm okay i'm fine it's cool um dad's the worst um no uh and then friday nights we have the legends of Kralis at 10 30 p.m est at ttrpj g gm'd by uh hilarious game master also created by him as well um no more stumbling for me. Somebody else take over. Who's making eye contact? We're going to go with none of you. So, Juniper, please, for the love of God, talk. I was deliberately not making eye contact. I know, so but it. you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Juniper. I'm Linen and Spice, most places on the internet. Um, you can see me, obviously, here on, uh, what is it for you guys? Saturday night um, on the Moonstone Matriarchy. Sorry, it's halfway through Sunday for me. Um you can also see me playing Alien and Naturally Shattered on the first and third Sunday of the month over on the Shattered Tabletop Games uh, Twitch channel. Tonight I am playing Clover, who is our cute little tiny tabaxi um, trickster cleric, who is kind of the party mom, I guess you could say. Um, I am going to throw to Star. Hi, I'm Star. You can find me on TikTok at Star Mama C. Everywhere else, I'm Characters Without Stories, which is the name of my podcast where I interview people about characters they haven't had a chance to play yet. Tonight, I will be your Herringon Wild Magic Sorcerer Cappy, the mama with the family drama. Um, and I'm going to pass it over to Katie. I swear I knew you were going to do that the second oh, I put my a chip God. in my mouth. It's totally fine. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Um, I'm Katie, Dungeon Masters Katie on all the things. Um, you can find me, as Jessica said, on Tuesdays I'm here. Every other Wednesday I am on Shadows of Nox um, as the Yellow Ranger on the Power Rangers RPG, uh, Power Rangers of Centurion Ridge. Um, and then on Saturdays, I'm, or sorry, Saturdays I'm here, Sundays I'm there as well, uh, playing Cthulhu. Uh, but tonight I am playing Rosalind Alara. She is the party's um, rogue Aladrin chaos 
Gremlin. Horny girl. Horny girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, who will in, not uh, the game. best tits in the in the in the entirety of yes. Salandria Cannon. as we mm-hmm. <laughs> um Cannon. Uh you know, it it's fine. Cannon. It's great. She really does have the great tits. She does. That's 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 a thing that I can bring into this game. Uh so I yeah, and uh but elsewhere you can find me singing or playing not playing things. I don't play things out of game. Because I game a lot, um, singing either musical theater, opera, doing improv, things like that. So, um, I'm gonna send it over to and <laughs> uh-huh. hi oh, everybody. God. I am Gemma. We're a train wreck today. <laughs> you can call me N. <laughs> And I'm avoiding eye contact. <laughs> um, I have wandering eyes. Both of them are going like this. So you can also call me a chameleon. And <laughs> I play Anemone here on, on the Moonstone Matriarchy. And you can also catch me on most Tuesdays with this chance of fate campaign that I run for D&D 5e. So you Tuesdays and Saturdays and then my God Wars campaign is coming to an end on April something. Uh, so it'll be our last last God Wars uh, game, but it'll be fun. Um, yeah, I'm gonna send it over to the mother of dessert dragons. Hi, I'm the mother of dessert dragons. You can find me at Scarlet64 everywhere. Um, I will, I usually would tell you that I have my uh, actual play uh, tomorrow, but tomorrow's Easter, so we're taking the day off. Uh, the next time you can find me is next week. I have a schedule posted on my Twitter if you want to see that. Uh, I will be playing Sin, the emo goth elf girly girl who's got religious trauma, a lot of confusion. And a really hot situationship good friend. She has a really, really nice friend. Uh, he's such a good friend. He's so good. her she's a great friend. That yeah. He's a friend. He's <laughs> known each other all of four days, but he's such yeah, a good friend. <laughs> he's a good friend, you know? <laughs> Sid doesn't make a lot of good friends, except her sisters are the you know what? It's fine. Mama Kalik, <laughs> take it away. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. Um it's been a while. Uh I am Mommy Kalik. I play Delphra, um, a druid. That's what I play. That's what I play. I also run Goddess Teacup, uh, which is just a herbal apothecary and maker of soaps and lotions and all the feel-good shit. That's all I got. Fun. I put your link up for you. Um, Yay! I, I think Katie's got recap. I fucking better because I wrote notes thing. I'm so proud of you. You should be. Yay. I am so proud of you. You know, I really needed to hear that. And uh, if I can't hear it from my dad, I'm glad to hear it from you. You know so. what? I love you and I am proud of you and you work so hard. So you know what? If you haven't heard it enough from anyone else, I'm proud of you. You're wonderful. Okay. I love you. Um, you are not allowed okay. to make me cry. Also, you're a bitch, already. and I hate you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. And on that particularly interesting, uh, slightly sappy note, uh, previously on the Moonstone Matriarchy, uh, the group spends some time with Galen discussing the stones and what they might mean and who they might pertain to and where they might have to go in order to get them to where we got to get them. Um, in a strange turn of events, we found out that Annie can read Elder Draconic with her golden eye, but not her other eye, leading to more questions than answers. Some of the questions might be, is someone scrying on us? Are Sin and Oswald a thing? That's not related, but kind of related. Uh, should we allow the prince to imprison Cappy's mom? Maybe. Uh, Diana and Marigold? Are Annie and Baldrick a thing? Ah, so many questions. Not a lot of answers just yet, but we'll get there. Um, and then we also decided we do not give Delphra cutlery. Just <laughs> <Finger foods only. laughs> perfect timing. I love when I get to get so many. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> finger foods only. Only. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like so, deep fried mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Dino like, nuggies. Dino yeah, nuggies. Dino nuggies. Dino uh, nuggies. Maybe some yep. like spinach and artichoke. <laughs> yes. French fries. I'm hungry. You're just at the um, apple. You you've got that Applebee's appetizer spread. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Let's go. Uh, one of the reasons why we think Sid and Oswald might be a thing is she lets him hold her teacups a lot. Um, that yeah. night, are we writing a, a YA book? I know you yeah. are, Jess, but like, are that we as a party writing a YA book? Because I feel like we might be. Um, <laughs> why don't we just make one of those dating sim like Steam games? Where yeah. with like you have to pick the right dialogue and you see all the NPCs in I'm various for scenarios, it. like Oswald at the gym or yeah. the prince Absolutely. in his pajamas. <laughs> oh. the walls. The prince oh, is so sorry. hot. I sleepwalk. No. <laughs> Everyone's so hot in this game. All right. So that night, the party members have dreams. Annie sees, is it Eli or Ellie? Because I think it's Eli, but I, my brain was saying I'm wrong. Eli. Eli. I wrote down Eli, but it could be Ellie. Uh, could be. Um, Cappy loses her mom in a blizzard. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that you lost your stupid mom. Uh, Clover speaks to Luna. Nyx is pissed. The reason why is Nyx angry, you ask? Well, to start, Roz told her sisters about the conversation. Roz told her that she has a hard time trusting people, especially the gods. She said if Roz can earn her trust, they'll, bring, they'll talk about bringing Val back. Nyx is a bit jealous, it seems. When she hears that she was talking to Luna, she blows up and lays claim to Sin. Nyx orders Sin to go home, and Sin says, the fuck no, and gets yelled at for it. And Roz and Prince get to experience makeup sex for the first time. The end. The end. It's a, good, was, it's a good recap. How was the you. makeup sex? Uh, I died. You know, for it? Roll <laughs> <laughs> for makeup sex. Roll for <laughs> erection. <laughs> Roll for Listen, I cannot make any more of those. <laughs> Listen, all you wow. have to do is replace all you have to do is replace the peach with an eggplant, and it's fine. That's it. That's all you got to do. Oh, it's fine. And here's me <laughs> thinking: what di what die do you have to roll for erection? Is it a D eight um, or a D twelve? Or like what? It's it, it probably it depends. one of the best. It really depends. There's not like a It's one. It's average. It's, a it's one of those. Yeah. So that's a D four, yeah. though, isn't it? It's a D four, but like it's it looks like a penis. So it looks like a baby penis. That's true. A very small penis. Especially it is a very small like penis. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Maybe if I hold it out, like out here, to like out to, it would be it'd look bigger. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is that that is what you roll for erection. Okay. Anyway, I okay. So moving on. Clover, uh, <laughs> your ball now has um a stat block because you liked it so much. So. Uh, I'll read it really quickly, but you basically have a silver, silver vine yarn ball of feline bliss. Uh, this silvery ball of yarn exudes a faint enchanting aroma akin to silver vine, irresistible to feline beings crafted with magical resilience. It promises countless hours of play without losing its charm or becoming unraveled. The silver vine yarn of feline bliss is not just a toy, but it's a concoction of joy for any feline, be it majestic lion or curious domestic house cat. Um, offering, uh, offering a moment of pure bliss and relaxation amidst their adventurous lives. When a feline creature interacts and sniffs or uh, with or sniffs the feline yarn a ball of feline bliss, that was why did I do that? It's so long. Um, the and. <laughs> Uh, they enter a state of euphoria, similar to the effects of catnip. Um, the state induces a playful and relaxed demeanor, making it an excellent tool for calming or distracting feline creatures. The euphoric effects last 30 minutes. Um, after the effect wears off, the creature cannot benefit from it for again for 24 hours. Additionally, if the yarn is given to a creature under the frightened condition the creature immediately gets the yips a condition where the creature is momentarily startled or jittery causing erratic movements upon engaging with the ball of yarn the under the yips condition the creature experiences a surge of energy similar to the effects of being on the haste spell uh for three rounds a creature 
at the conclusion of the haste effect, the creature is overcome with an intense uh, lethargy, rendering it unable to move or take actions, bonus actions, or reactions um, on it, on its next turn until it recuperates from the sudden, sudden expenditure of energy. While under the haste effect uh, from this yarn, the creature could use its reaction to make an opportunity attack against any creature that approaches within five feet of the ball, reflect, uh, reflecting a defensive stance over your enchanted item. My cat very does mousy. that all the time. It's it's right, I love that so much. That is a mm -hmm. that's pure cat. Um, yep. Definitely calling it the yips from now on. Yeah, it's, it's the yips. <laughs> Uh, uh, I just really uh, like that I made a, uh, uh, what's it called? Condition for D&D. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Delphra. Yeah, you. At the end of uh, your very utensilless dinner, um, Woo! Grim appears, uh, kind of just slides up beside you. So you ready? You ready? Yeah, let's go. Go bluff. Yes. Okay. And he <laughs> grabs your hand, <laughs> and you guys. He pulls you through the spire like top speed. You guys are running out like hand in hand. Uh, he brings you out the side, uh, like a side exit into the courtyard. Um, the courtyard. I like side doors. I bet side doors. Yeah, it's a vast expanse of paved slabs with um, dark dark stone. So. Looks like onyx, not onyx, but like stone, um, is eerily devoid of life. The stones themselves uh, seem to absorb light, light, creating a dimmed atmosphere, um, even at like midday when it's supposed to be the brightest. Um, in the midst of the gloom, the remnants of what might have once been a lush garden now lie withered and basically the life choked out of them uh, by the oppressive shadow magic that permeates the air. Um, he leads you to a set of statues. Uh, they have fallen apart, cracked. Um, some bits and pieces of them are still standing. And he places you a decent set, like feet away from the statues. Uh, you see him check the air, and then set up a... He puts something in front of you, and that then expands and sets up a um, a divider between you and the statues, giving you cover. And um, takes out from his bag a glass ball with swirling... Um, bits of smoke inside of it and black powder and it looks very glittery and hands it to you. I'm like okay. jumping up and down like yeah, don't okay, but don't jump while you have these. Okay. Oh. <laughs> like don't jump while you're holding it and shake it. Okay. Can I throw it now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna like pull on like pitcher and launch and lob it out. Um, <laughs> trying to hit it, but like not really fucking aiming for shit. Just like I'm so excited, I'm just like, go, Pikachu. Do you want to make me a? Do you want to make me a ranged attack? Sure. This is the perfect Del for a date. <laughs> you guys are blowing shit up. <laughs> Fuck off! I rolled a one. Oh. oh my god okay this is gonna, I'm gonna be so see. funny oh, shit. <laughs> um this is really bad <laughs> hang on <laughs> it's gonna drop right in front of you one second let me see if he can <gasps> if he's paying attention enough to grab it for you we're gonna roll are you guys gonna come back covered in glitter probably <laughs> and blood <Yes. laughs> okay he is he rolled an 18 he's he's paying attention Fucking enough right. that and he's He's hurt enough people with his explosions that he's paying attention. Uh, you go, you get excited. You go to throw it. Uh, it slips out of your hand and he catches it. And it's like, oh, okay. I'll throw it. It's fine. Don't worry. I got it. We're fine. And he whips it at the, um, at the statues and hits them. It explodes into this glittery puff of magic, green glitter, 
And as it makes contact and the glass explodes, there's a fiery explosion. And then you hear a funeral procession song. You hear dun dun da 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 and uh <laughs> I thought you were going to do the Imperial Death March for a second, and I'm like, no, I thought that too. <laughs> Such a nerd. And then, <laughs> as the the cloud, like this this green glittery cloud, obscures everything for a while, and then as it begins to uh, recede, um, there are all of these flowers that are left all over the floor and the statues. Um, and it smells actually quite nice. The the smell that you get coming from there. Delphi's just like so happy. She's like fucking crying and just like starts jumping up and down and like throws her arms around him and just like yay. He's jumping with you, like you, a big hug. He's like every time he's just like yes, we did good things. Okay, someone likes my explosions. Um, he goes. Do you want to try again? Yeah, maybe I should calm down a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I, again, don't jump and throw these because, you know, it's not safe. Okay. And he, he takes out another one and hands it to you. Uh, I'm just going to love it again. Uh, math hard. 18. 18. Big explosion. You hit the statues. Um, glare goes everywhere, and then the cer- the funeral procession starts again. That music goes on. Eventually, the the smoke and clears, and there is there's more flowers everywhere. He goes. They all last the for twenty four hours. <laughs> it's all the flowers. Really, really. Yeah, yeah they oh last for twenty four hours. Oh my god. Can we uh, last forever? Um, I can work on that. I don't know if I can do that, but I can try. I, the whole world in flowers. I can definitely try. Yay! Um, maybe some black ones too. Give me, give me a a d four roll. Okay. Three, three. So he hands you three of them that you can keep. Yay! Oh, um, thank you. I'm going to say that he has a few more that you guys spend the night definitely throwing around, um, walking around the gardens and just whipping grenades. Um, but you Let's have go. you have three dirge bloom grenades that um, I mean, that is exactly what they do. They also uh, that cloud that uh, creates that is created from the explosion lasts for about a minute and it is a sparkling green. It's made of sparkling green spores. So um, I believe you get the uh, the, the poison condition. (gasps) Oh, it's perfect. I love it. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. And it does a D six of thunder damage and two D six of poison damage. So, that's that. I put the stat in your uh, area, the equipment area, so that I'll you can find have it those. Um, he looks at you and he's like, "Black flowers, got it." And he's like, he's taking notes as you ask for things. I love it so much. You're the best. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You're pretty great. <laughs> all cool loss uh not that he had much to begin with but there's a giggle there's a little bit of like, a high-pitched giggle when you like that. sitting there like like playing with her like shirt over her skirt just kind of like needing it like you're awesome <laughs> and he's like doesn't know how to deal with anyone saying that to him the the high-pitched giggle immediately leaves his mouth and he's <laughs> like uh-huh thanks i don't know what to do now Delphor just like gives him like a little peck on the fucking cheek and just like straight out blushes. This is the perfect night. Oh. I brought TNT. <laughs> you brought what? I brought TNT. Yes. Uh, <laughs> he'll pull you further out into the courtyard, basically wind you down a secret path, and then. After a little bit, there is a a drop 
a cliff uh, that he stops you from going over and goes, I could throw him over this. <gasps> and oh you guys God, spend yes. hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to start lobbing oh and like fill the trees at the bottom with fucking flowers. <laughs> And then eventually you guys, like inside, inside, all you hear for like a good two hours are explosions. Um, Every now and then you'll get a a high-pitched giggle or a squeal, but there are a lot of explosions going on. And now that he's sitting in front of um, of Baldrick, well, someone's having fun. I swear to God, I am a druid. I promise. <laughs> you are a wildfire druid. Your burn job is to burn things down. Yep. Yeah, I think I do that pretty well. Um, you guys have a you guys have a uh, a name already, Delgrim. I like it. <laughs> Fucking right, we do. Delgrim. Delgrim. Uh eventually he'll you guys come back in to the spire he'll walk you to your room for you to rest for the night um and tell you he looks at you and he goes i had had a really good time this is a lot of fun no one ever wants to blow stuff off with me this is great actually do you have one more he you see him Pat all over, and I'll make a roll to see if he actually does have one more. He does have one more that he pulls out. I'm gonna take it and I'm going to lob it into my room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you lob it into your room. There's an explosion. He pulls you behind the door really quickly, uh, so that you got you have cover, uh, and and then shuts the door um, as it fills up your entire room. And he goes, um, we're going to wait a couple of minutes before we open the door again. Um, and then cause... after those couple of minutes, because now it's full of flowers, I go and pull him into the room bed. and close the door. <laughs> and a broken um, bed. Yeah. I got to pull him bed. into the room and close the door. Oh, no, you need a place to spend the night. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I won't. I'm not going to tell anyone that you blew up your room. It's full of flowers. It we is have full 24 hours. They, we, they, we do. They, we do. He looks we at do. you like, I, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. I was just going to look at him. I'm like, I'll show you. And then pull him into the room and just slam the door, like, finally shut. You sh- uh, finally <laughs> shut. He is the blushing of- from head to toe, but really excited as uh, as he do. As he and, do? As he do. Um, And um, you fade to black? Yeah, I'm fading to black. You fade to black. It is a very fun and um, energetic night. Okay, so All body count so far is two Delphra, one Rosalind, and that's where we're at. yeah, that's where we're at. The Rosalind has double tapped, so <laughs> Rosalind's trying to be a queen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't need to be a queen. Okay, I just I just need to have a black book. Listen, mm-hmm. Roz has some severe daddy issues, so if she can like call someone else daddy for the night. It's probably great. Just a thought. <laughs> um, as you sleep, Delphra. Here. Once you have uh, exhausted yourself and fall asleep, cuddled in your bed of flowers and um, sexy uh, artificer arms, broken wood everywhere. It's great. oh yeah, yeah. He, you guys, ha- you guys had to like throw shit around when you laid. You're down. not supposed to break it. I broke I it before that's... it happened, so it's fine. We have a story to tell. We're not on <laughs> we're, we're not on the same page. It's okay. That's the wrong wood that I was talking about. Oh, oh there we go. I got it now. It okay, is. I didn't get it <laughs> first it. either. That's okay. <laughs> okay. It's like that's how you get to see people sent to the ER. Oh, no fine. ER visits. He's good. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. He had a great time. Um. In my mouth dream. hurts. 
Yeah, it does. <laughs> Bruised the, In the your lips dream. a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> you are in a you you wander through a moonlit meadow where the air is perfumed with the scent of blooming flowers um and soft grass caresses your feet um it fills you with a sense of peace uh this serene landscape bathed in ethereal light gradually begins to shift it's beautiful it's beauty turning ominous as vibrant hues deepen and chilling whispers replace the gentle breeze abruptly tranquility the tranquility is shattered by a distant rumble dark clouds swarm above obscuring the moon's glow casting everything into shadow desolation spreads as flowers wilt their life force draining away into the darkness and a panic surges through you as the meadow transforms into a labyrinth of thorns and gnar gnarled trees Pan panic surges through you blah 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 that's where we were i looked away um a once familiar paradise now a prison of fear in desperation you flee from an unseen horror its presence a div a devouring void behind you until at the moment of your deepest despair the clouds part and reveal the full moon its radiance uh, pierces the nightmare, dispelling the shadows and restoring the meadow to its lost beauty. The, the nightmare recedes, banished by the moon, the moon's pure light, and in the morning, uh, you awaken. The terror gone, but the memory of the nightmare and the salvation of the moon still vivid in your mind. What do I'm just going to, like, stare at the moon and just kind of, like, drop to my knees and just be, like, kind of crying, like, looking up at it, just, like, not trying to find, like, this safe place where the shadows and whispers aren't reaching me. In the dream? Yes. Okay. So that you, you do that in the dream. Um, you find a place. Eventually the moon... Uh, it will protect you, right? Um, and banish everything and make it so that it's it's a peaceful dream again. In the morning, you guys all awake, you're safe and sound, and sound in your beds, unless there's anything anyone wants to do. I have a couple things I want to do in the morning before we set out. Okay. First, what do? I would like to talk to Fleety. Okay. So should I roll persuasion to see if I can get him to visit? Give me what you're saying to him first. Okay. Uh, Fleety, I, um, well, I was just going to tell you we're leaving. To, so I just kind of wanted to say goodbye. There's a sigh and then there's a little poof. And baby dragon fleety shows up flying oh. in front of you in his fairy dragon form. You're not going anywhere. I can come wherever you are. Oh, it's so um, not hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. <cool. laughs> I love baby dragon fleety. <laughs> Maybe you should just stay like that forever. <laughs> um, oh, okay. So you're going to come like this? What's wrong with my dragon form oh okay um i'm I a wanted... fairy dragon yeah yeah i well your other things too he poofs out of his fairy dragon form into his elven form what's the issue with my fairy dragon form it, there's not that there's an issue it's just that i like this one so much um right, uh, yeah. but it's still a part of me. I know, just like I'm a bunny and an elf. In a way. 
Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that um, we're, we're leaving Tomasi Bark. We're going on a quest to find a stone. A, a godstone? Do you know what those are? He smiles. I might. I might know who those are. So we're supposed to find um, six of them. Do you know where any of them might be? He get, he smiles at you very mischievously. And you, he go kind of walks back himself back to one of your dressers, uh, kind of sits on it, crosses his arms and leans back. <clears throat> go on then. What is it that you want to ask me? Oh, um, okay. Well, uh, there was a verse in this poem. It, it says, poem? we found a poem and it was about us, which is rather odd. We don't know who wrote it. Um, How ominous. A little, but also not. It, it wasn't uh, scary, really. It was just... Um, it's really weird to find a poem about yourself somewhere where you've never been. I, I, I guess you wouldn't know anything about that, but. No, I find poems about myself in places and weird places all the time. Hmm. I'll have to ask you about that later. Was the night before Eustace and all around the house, not a creature <laughs> was stirring, not even a mouse. <laughs> that exact poem. <laughs> a lot of real poems the <laughs> Rosalind so, really likes uh, Rosalind, sorry uh, Sin really likes me, she talks about me all the time is she talking about you now? yes she just did, I swear I, I, heard it. I feel like she's like reading one of her childhood <laughs> books <Yeah. laughs> it's like got pictures in it, look her village goes all out for Yulstis. They have a giant tree feasting. Yeah. It's like one of those super cozy villages that like people mm -hmm. go visit nice. for their honeymoon. You know, it's like got really cozy bed and breakfasts all the time. And they light every tree in the town for Yulstis. Look, Yulstis is a big deal. That sounds lovely. Mm. Uh, so, Fleety, this is the verse. Um that I, I thought I wanted I wanted to ask you about. Um, it, it sounds like maybe it has something to do with you. It it says, um, "Oh, go on then." I then, love hearing about myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, then in the coldest winter realm, a sapphire gift to crown your helm, the god of weather left behind a gift to give when vows are signed. How odd. Does it? I mean, I thought. The coldest winter realm and um, the god of weather. I thought maybe that was you. Asshole knows so much more than he's getting at. <laughs> I am neither of those things. <laughs> what? I'm sorry? I am not the god of weather. And um, my realm is not the coldest winter realm. So, Oh. Uh. Okay. I thought... Maybe the vows part was about um, me being betrothed to you or something. It does sound like that, doesn't it? And I may or may not have said God's doom. Right. The, it kind of reminded me of your crown. That would be said God's doom. Yes. Well, I mean, could, could you just... Give it to us? Of course, right after our wedding when vows are signed. Oh! Did you write this poem? No, but I had... He's such I an asshole. It, <laughs> it's a good poem. Oh my god. He's such a dick. Asshole. <laughs> Besides, you've already given me your hand. Um, that was, that was not something that I knew I was agreeing to when I was speaking to a fairy dragon. And we were talking about, I thought you were asking me to give you my hand just to hold. And I was not, that was not a marriage proposal. That's not the way we do it here. 
I'm a fae, so that's how we do it. Also, potato, potato. Virgin vagina. Virgin vagina. Virgin vagina. Virgin of vagina. Dude, that's the most fucking biblically accurate fae I've ever heard of. It's all yours. The moment you said the fae. The vows. What if I didn't want to marry you? I didn't understand. Um... What, what if I didn't want to? Would you make me? No, I wouldn't make you marry me, but you would have to come back to my court. That's part of the deal. Forever? Yes, that is where you stay. I mean, you can visit other places, but generally, yes, you stay there. What if I didn't want that? The, um, uh, the deal was already made years ago, so. That wasn't my deal. He sort of looks very uncomfortable. That's um, it. I kind of mm. like that I'm making him uncomfortable. This is the first time that I've made him uncomfortable rather than the other way around. Mm. Um, um, listen, <clears throat> your mother already made the deal for you before you existed and used her side of the deal. Her side is completed. Well, why would you even want me there if I didn't want to be there? Well, I wouldn't, but the deal is completed. It's your deal. <clears throat> it's my deal? Yes, yes, it is my deal. Um, But her side was already completed. I... I, I feel like we're talking in circles. I mean, to me, it seems like if you strike a bargain with someone, you can break it. If they've already gotten what they wanted, and I mean, you can decide Kendra, you don't want Kendra, Listen, listen. And he's like very much walking, backing away from you. Um. Mm, fate magic is a little different than regular magic. If deals aren't completed, bad things happen. Um, I'm going to advance on him as he walks away. I'm going Ooh, to keep you can walking. Stay there. It's so... fine. It's fine. You can stay there. <laughs> stay but, over wait. there. No, uh, you need to tell me more. I am not entirely sure what you don't understand about deal has to be completed. What I don't understand is what is the bad thing that happens? I mean, I don't know what will happen. Um, maybe your brothers die. The deal was to save their lives. So, deal broken, lives gone. Oh. Maybe... Well, I've already completed my part, so I'm in the clear. It would be on your side where things go wrong. Oh. We could wait until you have a kid, and then I'll take that one. Oh. Or your brothers. Or my Don't... brothers have kids? Hmm. I can extend it. An ex we'll have to file an extension. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like uh, the Fade Deal IRS. It's like a T ninety nine X or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can I can extend it. Um, that hit GM of Revan so hard she had to take glasses off. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, oh, <wait>. <laughs> <laughs> uh this is a lot. Mm -hmm. Um. Ooh. Uh, Love me to go. Okay, but can I ask you something before you go? Mm okay. When you're invisible, 
Um, it makes me feel a little weird that I could never know whether or not you're there. Can you make it so that I'd know if you're there? Maybe put a little um, powder puff on her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make, it, make it snow. You see, him look, <laughs> you see him look genuinely confused at this. I don't understand. Well, I just, um, I, I feel like it, since you can become invisible and be anywhere, I don't know when you're there or not. And it makes me like a little, it feels a, a little weird to like, feel like there's somebody there and I don't know they're there. I haven't been around you when invisible. Oh, well, never? No, I don't think so. I have turned invisible when you asked me to. Oh, okay, that's it? Mm hmm So you've never been invisible around me unless when I asked you to be invisible around me? Mm, you've always known when I've been invisible. Oh, okay. Good. I'm glad. Okay. Why? So, Why are you asking me this? I, you know, it's just like so, some of us are feeling like a little bit weird about having somebody there who we didn't know that they were there. And then it just kind of feels like we can't have any privacy. You see him give you this weird lopsided smile and then a little, <laughs> do you think I just hang around you all day? Well, I didn't know. That's the thing. No, when you call me, I show up. Oh, well, thanks for showing up when I call. You're welcome. Yes. Oh, I'm really good at this. <laughs> He's like um, relationship pat on the back for himself. Uh. <laughs> okay, so um, if I don't marry you, do, does that mean you won't give me the godstone? Yes. So I have to marry you to get it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Why? I, I mean, we're, we're, in love. we're well. Um, <laughs> not not really. I mean, I you don't love me. Well, I feel really weird when you're around, and like I keep thinking about kissing you and imagining you naked. And oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> All of those things can be arranged. It definitely sounds like you love me. That's that's not really love. That's that's um hmm, something and uh and very different. He takes uh, a step towards you, and like <laughs> ours out. Come here. Um, I'll let him. Oh, uh, well, you. He gets big grin if you if you like let him step up to you. He snaps his fingers. The snow turns around you, and when you uh, emerge from the snow, you are your elven self. And he takes your face in his hand and pulls you close to him and gives you a kiss. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll kiss him back. Um, but yeah, we're gonna gonna keep it keep it there. Yeah, he stops yeah. and he looks back at you. Definitely in love with me. Um, are you in love with me though? Mm -hmm. I decided I was, so I am. Yes. I just, I don't quite understand that um, way of thinking. It's usually like you need a reason and time and uh, stuff like that. They don't need reasons and time I have forever, so. But you barely know me. I don't see the problem. Am I not understanding something again? Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I just don't understand how you can fall in love with somebody just because you decided to. You gave me your hand. And if I had... And I'd much rather, I'd much rather marry you than take it from you. Right, but I mean... It, so, if I had not given you my hand when you asked for it, would you not have decided to be in love with me? I don't know. You're very cute. You little fluffies. And when well, you're an elf. Oh, very attractive. <laughs> what, I've reali what I've realized, sorry to interrupt, what I've realized is that everybody here is getting their romance. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
We all play D and D to flirt with our friends. <laughs> Jess is just taking that yeah, to like much. the next <laughs> level. Jess is giving us what we want. It. Yes, absolutely, a hundred percent. All right. Um. Okay. So I don't think I'm really like. Uh. I I don't know if that like I really understand, but I kind of. Well, I have to go. So um, I, I, my sisters and I are going to leave. So, um, I suppose I'll see you soon. I'll visit you. That's so cute. And then he uh boops your nose, and that snow returns, and you turn back into your little bunny form. Hmm. Well, bye now. And he poofs. Okay. Oof. <laughs> Is there anything else anyone wants to do? Well, I wanted to talk to Clover too. Yeah, you go to find Clover. Uh um Clover. What are you? Sorry, go ahead. Clover uh, opens the door with a, a ball of silver vine yarn in her mouth. And she just goes, <laughs> Yeah, come in. Hi, come in. Here. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I got. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I had a dream with Luna in, and I think she gave it to me because I woke up and it was here. Oh, what is? It looks really cool. What is yeah, it? Yeah, it smells it do something? really nice too. Oh. Well, I mean, I don't know. It, it's I can chew on it as much as I like, and it and it and it stays the same. It doesn't like, yeah. It's it, it's Not just really drooly. cool. Toy and yeah, it's it it doesn't get all gross. Um, the best yeah, chew fidget that, toy ever. That's amazing. I mean, that's so much better than that ball of yarn you had been carrying around, which was getting a little gross. <laughs> yeah, it was, huh? I I, sh- I should probably get rid of that, shouldn't I? Well, now you have this, this one. So, now. yeah. Um, I had a dream last night, too, and it was it was kind of weird, and I wanted to talk to you about it. Um, sure. What ha- what's up? Well, I was, like, swirling in, like, ice and snow and then my mother was there and there was like this black magic around her and um and I felt really I didn't have any control over my life or anything and then like this silver light came through and and made me feel better and I mean the thing is is that as much as I love all of you I've never really been religious it's just kind of like everybody worships luna but you know i'm not really what you would call practicing and i never really thought about luna that much i really just thought like this is the way that i can be a hero and so that's why i joined up and i wasn't really like thinking about serving a god um or goddess and so i'm i'm confused because i don't know if Luna's if I should be worshiping Luna or I don't know what to do and I thought since you're a cleric maybe you'd have an idea well let's see I mean yes I am a I am a cleric of Luna um and certainly until well let's say the past couple of weeks I I practiced uh you know a worship of Luna um I know you're not you're not a cleric of Luna, so I, I don't think I don't think any rites or rituals or anything, I don't know if that's expected of you. Um but I I think I for me um connecting to Luna has been more what it feels like on the inside. Um and I, I guess the, the, the thing about it is it sounds like, or I mean, I wonder if all of us got visited during the night. It, it sounds like Luna, well, because I woke up with this thing here, right? And she, she like has her claws and holds up the thing. Um, and you maybe we should talk to the other girls later and see if, if they also had Luna or, or, you know, the moon in their dreams. Um, 
where I was going with that is that I think in general, um, y- usually, I guess if you if you follow a god, you you would you would do something to feel a connection with them, whether that's just the way you feel on the inside, or whether that's through praying or rituals or that sort of thing. I, I would imagine it varies from person to person. Um, I. I also don't know how I feel about Luna at the moment. Right. I, She's. Yeah, we're kind of in a weird place with Luna. Yeah. She's perhaps not who I thought she was, but she she also... I don't think she's as bad as I originally thought she was either. I'm not sure. I think I'm starting to get the feeling that just being a god kind of means that you have to maintain some kind of, you know, think it, you have to you have to almost distance yourself and find your followers inconsequential because there are just so many of them. The gods are dicks. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Roland's <laughs> voice comes in through the window. <laughs> she was just saying that to herself out of nowhere. This is actually a God of War spinoff, and we are like Kratos getting ready to just destroy wrong. all the gods. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I just, I'm not really sure that I would even want to pray to Luna, but in a way, I feel like, is she going to be saving me from something? I, 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 I just feel like the more that things go on with my mother and with Fleety, that like, I, I feel like that. I feel like I don't know which way is up and that everybody else has control over my life except me. And I have to get married um, to get the stone. I have to get married. Um, so that feels I... kind of weird. Wait, the, the, the poem didn't say that you had to get married. It just spoke of generic vows, right? It didn't. Um, I saw a lady this morning. Uh, and I asked him about it, and he said that that is a godstone, and he has it, and I can't have it unless I marry him. Oh. Okay. That's that's concerning. Um, that almost sounds like coercion. Um, I, okay, Cappy, you don't, you don't have to do a single thing you don't want to do. I know right now it feels like everyone else is, is having control of your life, but we've got your back. We can make things work. Uh, But if we we can, we can figure it out. If I have to, if it can save the world and save my brothers and that's what I have to do, I'll do it. Mom enters the chat. <laughs> we kill him. Just out of nowhere. We <laughs> kill him. <Cappy. laughs> Episode 15. We kill Cappy. I got with Cappy. I'm sorry. We kill Fleety. We kill <laughs> I was like, whoa. whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Wrong one. Are we like faking my death? Maybe that'll no, work. Wrong maybe. One. maybe. Yeah. Oh, if, you, if you're dead. <laughs> Maybe we can like get you glamoured. You're dead. He can't marry you. Wait, right. what? Maybe I can die what? and then get revivified, and then the bet oh. is up. <laughs> oh. Seems legit. Or like a plan. That's I really... think this is a fantastic plan. Seems legit, honestly. Yeah, that is something to explore. What could possibly sure. go like, wrong? Mm-hmm. Nothing yeah. could ever go wrong. No. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> and then like scoot, like scoot to the next six months, and you see like Norna marrying Daddy December, like. <laughs> just... oh, God. I love <laughs> like, him. <laughs> He's the best. Wait, oh my god, that's get... true. And Torna is the flower girl. 
<laughs> what if we get Cappy's mom to marry Fleety? Oh, that oh. sounds like too good for her. Yeah, I mean, he'd be too I nice to her. Absolutely that's... no problem making her the queen of Eustis. No I problems do. arriving. Arising period. No, none at all. <laughs> she would have. I don't to like just the look on your face. Eustis Jess. cookies all year yeah. long. Mm. Mm, no, we don't give her a crown. No, mm. that sounds like a really good. Yeah, Can really he marry her crown. and throw her in a prison? Ooh, <laughs> giving me all these ideas. <laughs> throw her in a throw her in a well and like shut the yeah um, and then we could just get the stone it's fine it's, it's fine, fine. It's and, then, and then, i think i'll keep her and then, and then the <laughs> debt is paid it's it's cool Full vows proof plan ah, absolutely is there anything else anyone you could also just be the most insufferable wife and he'll be begging you for an annulment yeah um, let's go <laughs> is divorce a thing in the fate well yeah, I mean, I, a death, divorce, whatever. <laughs> Beheading. Death, divorce. Whatever, <laughs> same thing, right? Uh, we don't have to, like, spend a lot of time or even role play it, but Sin is definitely going to uh, say goodbye to her little friend and Aww. check on her teacups. We should uh, absolutely role play that. No, 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 no. I just mm. no, because I just feel like it's gonna be a lot of the same. It'll be like mm. a f- sweet little like I'm leaving now. I'll see you when I get back. I just didn't want to leave without saying goodbye. I mean, that's definitely happening up with in, Ra- have... in the k- prince's bedroom. <laughs> Unless fine. we're having like group breakfast before we go, and then she'll just say goodbye. She'll, yeah, like, you guys, next. you guys have breakfast. Okay, yeah, she'll just sit next to him at breakfast. I am sitting on his lap, eating my finger food. <laughs> on which <laughs> one's lap? He's Oswald you? or Grim? Yeah, are you sitting on Oswald's lap? No, Grim. <laughs> oh, I was like, I was I'm sitting next to him, like a... and then you're like, I'm on his lap. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're sitting, uh, Delphi. You are sitting on Grim's lap, and he's like, <laughs> Roderick didn't didn't expect this, and he's actually using the cutlery for you and feeding you. <laughs> um, <laughs> Clever, clever. We, we found a workaround. <laughs> yeah, please, that's, Kathy's that's mom, do not piss us off. <laughs> <laughs> every, she has bombs every, now. Like, that she does. He, she has... he gives you. He uh, gives you a little kiss on the cheek. No, oh. I love this shit. You sit can... next to. Uh, yes. Can you can find you one of those for me in real life? Because like that would be real... great. That'd be really cute. <laughs> I'd be so here for that. Um. So, uh, Aurora, you sit next to um Oswald. Mm-hmm. He pulls the chair out for you, lets you sit, and then oh. uh, pours you some tea. I kind of, I feel like I would be like, <clears throat> again, we're still for friends, guys. So the gesture is like less casual than I expected. Uh, because you know, casual friends just. Don't, but I'm just like, oh mm-hmm. wow. Didn't expect um, such a young man to be have great manners. <laughs> he, he laughs, <laughs> and he, you know, I am older than you, right? <laughs> I give him a look, and then I very clearly glance at his human ears, and then I glance back at him, and then I go, "Are you now?" <laughs> I am, unfortunately cursed, but I think it is. Not so bad since it gives me such a long life, and I have met you. A curse of <gasps> immortality. It's not so bad because we have more time with you. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a time limit to this curse? <clears throat> or is it kind of a forever thing? We do not know. Oh, that could be interesting. Well, let's just... hope let's just hope you don't get uncursed and fall into a pile of dust and bones now make sure he stays cursed forever <laughs> a scary thing to think about as yeah. he's taking a bite of his his toast <laughs> shaking his head a little bit i don't know why but i thought you said his toes <laughs> it's like yes he has picked them up so that he can clip his own nails with his, clipping his, his personal stimming thing is chewing on oh his toes oh my gosh Please don't. Not that Ugh. image. Oh, ick, ick, ick. <laughs> Extra ick. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. He's a 10, but... <laughs> yeah, he's a 10. He bites he his own at toes. God damn, okay. He to- uh, bites his own toenails. <laughs> no, he didn't do that. Oh, he's God. God. He didn't do that. 
all right well sh yeah she'll uh so wait so that would i think i would put that two and two together um all right well <clears throat> i'm glad it's not a problem <laughs> I'm glad you aren't going to die earlier than me. He's laughing at you just a little bit as he's eating. Uh, I'm just, Scarlet is laughing above table because my last PC was an elf who was married to a human boy and her entire arc revolved on how upset she was that he and her, their children were going to die before she did. That's so sad, though. Yeah. I don't think I would take that well. Yeah, it yeah. was pretty rough. Uh, so this is kind of like a interesting, it's like, uh-oh, not another human. Uh oh. 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 A mortal curse. Okay. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's never cure you. It's um, basically yeah. Russian Aragorn. I, it's fine. I feel like as he reveals his like long life and almost elvish styled aging process at the time, uh, she's gonna kind of like stop and like give him like a look over, like something just crossed her mind that she never even thought of before. Um. And then Are you just is gonna like me with your eyes. Absolutely not. And she's gonna sip because mm -hmm. suddenly, like, I feel like um while Sin would be friends with short-lived races, the idea of a romantic connection would have never crossed her mind because if I feel like elves know, like you don't you, you don't, don't yeah, you people don't do who can, are gonna just die. That's like a recipe for disaster. Uh so I think that that revelation is going to just register in a little little spot in the back of her head and she's just gonna like take her teacup and go uh you guys continue your breakfast he um can keeps your teacup filled with tea um Roz as you're uh eating breakfast with the prince mm -hmm. he reaches into his uh one of his like jacket pockets and pulls out a a stone uh, and puts it on the table in front of you and slides it towards you. He goes, if you get in trouble, you can call and I will come and find you. And he's giving you a sending stone, um, specifically one called Moore Sending Stone. So uh, crafted to allow the sender to cast uh, the sending stone or the sending spell to any uh, stone that you have a connection to. Um, a a specific amount of times that is equal to your proficiency and it works more like a cell phone than it does a like you 25 words that's all we got <laughs> um ross will just look at look at him and say are you trying to say you're gonna miss me i would never say that out loud <laughs> <laughs> And uh, she's going to she's gonna give him a kiss on the cheek and sort of whisper in his ear, I'm going to miss you too. Mm. Give him a nuzzle. Mm. He, you see him just... <laughs> uh, yep. Thank you. I will, mm -hmm. yeah, fine, I will miss you too. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I will come get you if you get hurt. Just tell me. Okay. Um. Eventually, dinner come or lunch, lunch, fucking One breakfast comes to its close. Um. He, uh, the prince, makes a little bit more small talk with you, saying things like, you know, he, him and Galen and Lady Orion will continue looking into the stones and all of that for you, uh, while you're gone. Um. I think I would say goodbye to Lady Orion too. Yeah, you can definitely do that. Like, um, it just, like, to kind of... Because I feel like we haven't had a lot of time to talk since uh, our apology and time spent. And me, the player, it's been so, like, spread out since the last time we had an interaction. I don't want to forget. Like, I don't want her to feel like I'm just, like, not friends with her anymore. So, yeah, I'll probably make it a point to engage in some friendly chit chat uh which are the best and let her know that if she thinks of anything that could be helpful to let us know and ask her if i can do anything for her while i'm out um she just tells you to be safe and to come back in one piece 
I will do my absolute best. I hope so. I've got I would boss. hate to see you hurt. Especially if it's not at my own hand. And and that is just her being a little... Yeah. Yes, I think that it. I've reserved that honor for you and those angry bubbles that you make. Much appreciated. And she mm-hmm. um she actually gives you a hug, Sin. Oh, I think she'll like be startled at first and then kind of like look like deadpan and then kind of like see the side of her back of her head and then like put her arms up and give her like like a little you get an extra squeeze when you do that i i don't have any friends anymore so please come back you have and i'm gonna take both her hands you have lots of friends and i feel like all of like if this was a camera shot all of the sisters are like yeah you guys are all here this you're all there (laughs) they're all you're at the like the entrance hall where she's come to say goodbye to you um if if she's looking um and he's got like a bit of bacon through one of her teeth and she's like (laughs) (laughs) you get you get a little pat on the shoulder from her but she's also going like I'm. I'm also gonna miss you, Lady Orion, and your sharp wit, and the fact that you make me cry whenever you quiz me on stuff. Um, I'm gonna go find Lady Marigold um, for a moment to say goodbye. But uh, you, uh, it was good to meet you. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, Sid. The, keep going with your goodbyes as she's gnawing through the bacon. I'm also going to give my book collection to Galen to keep safe. Oh, she takes it. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, these are so great. I'm, They're I'm all Salandria. You see her look at the, the Archfey and the prin- the princess. I go, uh, I don't have this one. Oh, this one's so good. <laughs> Make sure you're alone when you watch it, because lock the door. <laughs> okay. Or not yeah. watch it, read it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I never read any of these around anyone because we've, I blush. We've walked in on you reading them before, so make sure you are behind a closed door. Lock That's that fair. door. Stuff the the crack because you might gasp a few times. <gasps> okay. Not that I've ever. <laughs> not not that you've ever. Uh, and she gives again a big hug. Be safe. And um, uh, Anemone, you find Lady Marigold. She's coming down the stairs. Oh. go on sorry uh, you're lady right marigold. There. yeah yeah lady marigold um just wanted to say goodbye uh we're heading off and also to ask and inquire if you know of any monsters that we need to be looking out for on our journey unfortunately i don't know what's out there anymore okay what was out there before everything happened. Do you remember? Do you recall? Just off the top of your head? Maybe their shadow forms of those creatures? I just I just want to know. She looks at you, she goes, well, it, there were forests and grassy hills and yeah. lakes. Anything that you have, we probably had as well. Okay, okay. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Um, also, um, it was really great sparring with you and Diana in the mornings. I it was a really good time i enjoyed myself the yoga really helped i feel a lot more limber although i don't know how much limber i am but i did have a good time training with you all so (laughs) thank you for that for putting me through the paces i feel a lot stronger and i have a very good handle on my sword now (laughs) appreciated spending time with you yeah absolutely great uh we'll see you around then that's all i wanted to say Okay. Oh, um, and can you tell Lady Morgana that I put like a little candle situation up there in the chamber of eternity where just just earlier this morning, just to give thanks to the spirits there and that please don't touch it. It's kind of I, like I'll tell her before it, she Great. goes there. Great. Awesome. Awesome. Huh. Good talk. Good talk. Okay. And she runs back to the group. <laughs> she just, just turn around and run away. <laughs> she's just like, okay. Um, she's always in a hustle. Like whenever Annie is going anywhere, she jogs up and then it's like hopping mm-hmm. from foot to foot to she's keep her like, heart rate up. You know, then... playing a video game all the time because you don't walk from <laughs> one place to an next. You run. You know, Bob in Schitt's Creek kind of just like 
No. Yeah. Kind of just like runs over to the thing and then runs away. That's um, great. I just, I just imagine Anemone doing the little car like idle animation dance <laughs> like all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Talking to herself. Uh, uh, Cappy, um, as you uh, are leaving and ready to step out into the uh, outside, uh, the prince scowls at you a little. And then I've convinced your mother to stay for a little while longer. So travel safe and um, hurry back, please. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I didn't really want that to be the i didn't really want to impose her on you anymore it's just that uh i was a little bit worried of what she might say when she got back to salandria and if that might um be bad for you and and your friends and and your subjects. i don't understand how my reputation could be any worse than what it is now so Get a raid. Um, I, I think Yay. that um, it's more like that I'm afraid that they're going to know that we came here and that we didn't kill you and take the stone and come back. Uh, because I think that's kind of what they expected of us. Yeah, but we didn't have the stone, so they're idiots. They are. Oh, wait, I'm not in this conversation. Yeah. I was going to say they are yeah. idiots, but they're <laughs> around. Me you're around. Not no, I mean, <laughs> it's not really. Uh, I mean, yes, I think they're they're <laughs> um, kind of incompetent um, and all that. I just don't want it to to end up with with you guys being attacked because that would that'd be terrible i don't want i don't want that to happen because my yeah, mom terrible for them okay um great i i just you know you losses happen even in successful battles do these guys even have a standing army left over <laughs> there's like 10 of them left yeah um against no the they do not of, of salandria <laughs> yeah well, there's a bunch of shadows for them to go through, so who knows? That's Maybe true. they'll be dwindled yeah. by the time they get there. I promise I will try and be back as soon as I can. I cannot make any promises on when my mother might leave. God, I hope it's, it's not. No, I don't hope it's soon. Okay, good luck. Be safe. Call me if you need me. Um, And then he walks over to Roz and gives her a kiss really quickly. Oh wow! Goodbyes are not my strong suit. Please leave. Yeah, but you're so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Please leave. <laughs> <laughs> He's Please like, leave. I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. Um, <laughs> when when you get outside, um, Lady uh, or Lady um, Commander Diana is already standing there in her armor. What did you think that I was letting you go on your own? yeah oh you care if we die quiet come on <laughs> delpha just runs up to diana and like jumps hugs her like yeah you're coming there's with a us. there you go to jump and she sidesteps so <laughs> <that you're> just... <laughs> no no thanks <laughs> um does the sending stone have is like does it text as well <laughs> no it does not <laughs> <laughs> but you guys uh start your journey into um the shadowlands once more uh let's see here so you guys are in the land in i'll read in the land of the shadowed realm of umberfell uh lies the gloomwood a once verdant forest now twisted and gnarled as uh, like it's a stark reminder of the shadow curse um the ancient woodland known is known for its towering dark oaks and thick underbrush um it was a verdant uh sorry vibrant ecosystem teeming with life however uh the curse rendered it silent uh forbidding a silent forbidding place where the land itself seems to mourn um, as you venture into the depths of the gloomwood, you find yourself enveloped in an atmosphere that of thick, uh, thick with ancient sorrows and whispered secrets. The forest around you is macabre, um, trees gnarled and twisted, stretched their limbs stretched towards the sky, um, a dense mist 
clings tenaciously to the earth, uh, blurring the line between the land and the air, um, shrouding the path before you in mystery and silence. Uh, this silence is so heavy and so complete that when occasionally shattered by like the haunting creak of wood bending against an invisible force or the cries of an unseen creature, it is startling. Um, does anyone want to roll me a uh, d6 as you travel through this forest? Uh oh, oh, it's the oh, table. <laughs> yeah, I got a it. six. Five. Okay, I heard six first. That's fine. So we're going to do the act. Um, can I just say dancing lights, mage armor? Oh, yeah. Can we have our pre... Quartzly! Our... You have Quartzly. You have dancing lights and mage armor. What else are you doing? Let me... S I can't remember if I have... I actually don't have anything. I just have my pack weapon ready to go. Yeah, I don't have anything, any prep... Okay, I'm just walking around, around with my pack with my bow. Just Okay, so with a six, can I get a perception check? From everyone or Oh uh, yeah, you can all do it. 20. You're all walking through this. Three? Nine. Twenty. Twenty. Oh, nine. Oh, twenty's good. Um eleven. Eleven. Okay. Sixteen. Sixteen. Twenty. Twenty. Um the sixteens to twenties, you see it pretty quickly um the 11 not not as quickly eventually you kind of realize your sisters have seen something and that's what clues you in but the other ones you actually have to like stop and be like hey over here guys um as you make your way through the dense forest the air is thick with mystery and all of oh i'm reading the same passage again aren't i i am reading the same passage again hey um, it was a nice so passage sorry yeah mm. uh you eventually stumble across an ancient, like, clearing in this dense forest. A There is, like, a natural cathedra cathedral that has sort of been built with the interlocking of branches. Um, here, as you walk towards that... Um, the mundane world that you travel in, which, I mean, I guess isn't so mundane since it's kind of a little terrifying, um, you, it is replaced with a sense of otherworldly calm. Uh, and give me, I mean, with a perception check that high, the higher ones, you sense there's like a little tingle that you sense of magic that draws your attention towards this overgrown uh, bush at the clearing's edge. Um, and as you uh, part the verdant veil, which, weird, because this was not green before. Everything seems very, very healthy suddenly. Um, a sense of awe and reverence takes you over as you uh, you find a hidden shrine dedicated to um a goddess roll me history everyone or religion whichever you're better at 15 Three. same 15 15 that's 24. enough that's enough 19 19 i mean shit you guys just read about this she knows exactly what this is 11 um, not much you are still thinking about the prince and him <laughs> kicking you out of his alias. Uh, this is a this is a shrine dedicated to Magira, uh, the ancient god of arcane mysteries, a uh, deity whose gem that you currently seek. Um, the shrine is a timeless testament to the arcane and the mystical, crafted from stone that you can. It just. It whispers to you of ancient magics. The altar um, is, at its heart, glows softly, bathed in an ethereal light that you're not sure where it comes from. Um, 
there's a masterful depiction of a woman adorned with metallic golden wings, uh, each feather intricately detailed and shimmering with uh, a divine luminescence um, extending from the statue of the goddess and enveloping the entire shrine with her wings. Um, it creates a very protective aura to this place. Um, there are runes of power etched into the base of the of the uh, the da the dais there. Um, their meaning is long forgotten. So long forgotten by mortal minds, you can't really translate it um, unless someone wanted to use a spell slot. Uh, yeah, but... I can. I have uh, understand or comprehend languages. That is that is your choice to make. I will. I will cast yeah. comprehend languages. You comprehend languages, and it says, it says, um, rest here and be blessed. I'm reading that out loud. I'm like, rest here and be blessed. What would you what guys? What time like of day is do? it? About. You're probably. Like just before lunch, by the time you've made it this far. Does so everyone want to take a short rest so I can get my spell slot back? <laughs> that sounds like a great place. <laughs> seems, like a, <laughs> seems like a good place for a picnic. And I start getting out sure. like food and making like some some lunch for everyone. Yeah. Um, check your uh backpack for me. Give me an investigation check as you're pulling things out. Oh Eight. no. Why am Can't I so be. bad today? Um, mm, uh, you don't same. see anything. You just yeah. pull out a bunch of different um food that you're putting together. Some of it looks real good, real good. Um, Lady, you put shit in your bag. Who can say? <laughs> Do I get cutlery? Not me. That's my favorite fucking line. Jess has. Who can say? Who can say? <laughs> Who can say? Um, <laughs> you say that all the time, and it's so unsettling. That's Jess's. <laughs> you can certainly try. That yeah. is, yes. <laughs> is. Who can say? Um, uh, do I get cutlery back? Well, yeah, you're <laughs> not with you're not at Roderick's table. <laughs> I have a food. Yeah. <laughs> As you just stab things randomly. Um, <laughs> you miss the feeling doing? of stabbing things. <laughs> um so you guys are eating your lunch. Is there anything that you're doing while you're here? Getting my spell slot back. Yes, you are resting like, and getting your spell slot back. And he's actually just going to go to the dais, actually, and just look at the wings and look at the goddess and um, murmur something primordial. Murmur something primordial. What do you murmur? Um, thank you. We shall rest here. And how are we blessed by your presence? Um, give me a religion roll. <laughs> Eight. Eight. <laughs> um, I mean, there's a little purple light that kind of glows and bathes the statue and the area around you in that violet glow. Uh, you feel calm. Hmm. There's a, it's very serene and restful in this grove. Um, you will all at. Uh, Sin, you didn't even need to. You can keep this because you're a warlock, and I feel really bad. You re you recover a um a first level spell slot, so you can if you use a spell again, you can just use that for free. Ah. Uh, and um, if there is a time where you need to regain hit points, everyone, you can use two hit dice for free. This is supposed Ooh, to be like nice. our respite after getting our tushies kicked by some. Yeah, but you rolled six, so this is where we are. Yeah. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Let's mark it on the map just in case we need to run somewhere. <laughs> uh, is anyone else doing anything? So Roz is going to take out the sending stone and just send over in. Uh, I miss you already. Just see what the fuck happens. <laughs> hey, there's like. <laughs> Five minutes of silence, and then you sure, hear, fine. you've been gone like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> I still miss you. 
There's another like 30 <laughs> seconds of silence and you hear, I miss you too. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> and then he puts it away. <laughs> That's all she wanted. So That's, That's adorable. Uh, does anyone else um, do anything as you rest? Yes. I'm just trying um, to get everybody I... to eat the food. You all <laughs> eat the food? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, while we're all eating, I, uh, I start a conversation. Hey, um, did anybody else get weird dreams last night? I'm eating my sandwich and I just stopped chewing. No. No weirder than usual. No. No. Huh? no? Pretty weird. Wow. And I have weird dreams. Maybe I got like I dreamed about somebody Potatoes. used to know. Oh. We're no. not there, so it's okay. I'm just some some somebody I used to know. We we don't talk Somebody anymore. That Somebody. I used to know. <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you. That was <laughs> so good. Uh, uh, we don't talk anymore. So um, we yeah. don't talk about yeah, we don't talk anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I went Disney. I went. Oh, Disney the mouse time. is gonna. The mouse is gonna come back and get us. <laughs> it's fine. I, but uh, I just, forgot exactly I, what happened. All that I felt you was were talking really about good. your dreams. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I felt really good after my dream. I woke up refreshed. Said, said hi to to Lady Mary Gold. She's get, doing good, by the way, Diana. Really good. Um, yep, I'm aware. <clears throat> what we yeah, should do are. is we should probably do continue the morning routine because she was talking about it. And you remember she was talking about it. Earlier, we have to do the yoga poses, the Pilates things. Um, and Emily is like midway with this one sandwich, and she's like, This is probably not sanitary or healthy, but the one handed, like, you know, arm lift as she does a one arm arm lift. And then she goes, Yeah, that. Um, if you would like me to train you every morning, I can do so. That would be great. That would be so wonderful. Yes, please. Um, I I do need more sword work. Yes, yeah, you do. She actually. needs to practice her sword play. <laughs> you're not bad, but you're not great. <laughs> I'm not understanding <laughs> these in the window. <laughs> I, I don't swords? want to understand these in the windows. No, S sh swords sh always mean penises. Oh. Do we need to talk about what pe what tacos mean? No. No, oh, I don't want dreams. my food ruined by all the in the windows. Okay, <laughs> back, we've already back gone to the dream. Do you like toes. Do you like eggplants? Okay, uh, <laughs> I think Clover <laughs> wanted to talk about the dream. Dream was yeah. um, nothing too unusual. What happened? I think I got visited by Lula. Ah, uh, did you? Yeah. Were you um, interrupted? That's a weird I, thing to ask. I uh, wasn't interrupted. That is no, a really, I, really weird thing to ask. <laughs> she um, she came to me and she asked me. Basically, she wanted to know what happened because Nick Zaria was really angry, and 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 I just said, I don't know. Maybe you should ask her. Um, and then I tried to explain again about like why it hurts that she thinks we're inconsequential and stuff. And I don't know if I actually, I don't know if she actually maybe heard me this time, but uh, I woke up with this ball of yarn thing and I, I dig the yarn out to show everybody, um, hmm. which I think might be a gift from her. Um, yeah, but that that's why I was asking about dreams is I think I got visited by Luna. Why, why do you ask? Luna tried to visit me, but Nix oh. intervened and shut her out. And then she warned me not to find the stones, to which I told her to go kick moonbeams. <sighs> and she did. She did. She was not happy. She was actually enraged. Um, but she... She blocked Luna. Luna tried. Mm -hmm. I think she tried mm -hmm. to speak with me. 
Uh, Lady Diana, uh, I hope you know that we're speaking this now, that we are travel companions. This is all in good confidence. I mean, you've seen us at both our worst and our best in the past several days. Mm-hmm. All that we're saying about these dreams about Luna, they're, they are in confidence with you, correct? As a, as a uh, guardian? Of course, unless the queen asks me, and then I will tell her everything. Uh, <sighs> Thank you. My duties to the crown. Um, of course. She would have I to ask it? specifically, though, like, right? Like, she'd have to say, hey, did the six moonlings that you were traveling with have any weird dreams last night? And like, that's when you would say something, but she's not going to ask that question, because, like, how could she know anything? Right? Wow. That was... That was something. <laughs> <laughs> she just stone faced looking at you guys as you're having this conversation. Does Definitely it, does something. Does it matter if people know? Maybe we should don't see why it would. Maybe we should be careful what we say in mixed company then. Sisters. Rude. Hey. I'm right here. I know. You thank you for the warning. Thank you for letting us know where everything stands. And it is not a reflection of anything other than we understand that anything we say in your presence is reportable. Yeah, it's it's my job, guys. I know. I am not holding that against you. She's a cop. Yeah. <laughs> she is the cop okay yeah. it yeah. Is the cop. <laughs> i didn't want her along with us um <laughs> Did... okay so that's two of us that luna either visited or tried to visit um luna did not visit me she didn't try so okay she okay. i mean kind of is there like... more to that story what do you want to roll just, do you want to roll she asked on her? all she did was uh, she asked me if luna reception. visited me at any any of the rest of us and i speak so the I truth rolled doesn't mean my, we can't roll inside i rolled a 19 on my insight oh, I'm gonna be so uh, you can roll deception oh, you better have good insight or good deception uh, 21 inside two oh, what is wrong what do you got what do you got? Not a t- Nat one? Not a, 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 no, no, 15. 15. Yeah, uh, so for the 19 to uh, 21, yes. Yes, so she's lying. What did you dream about? Her. Was it her? I'm gonna go take a walk as uh, Lady Diana gets up. <laughs> Sin's walk. expression is not accusational at all. It is extremely sympathetic. <clears throat> like, I know that look. Um, what happened? So I've told you who this is, right? This little guy. Yes. Uh, have you told us? Yeah. Have I told you? I, so. I don't remember. I can't. Yes. I don't know if it's. Yeah, okay. I think you did. Okay. Yeah. Let's say. Yeah. We, yeah. Well, she's mad about the fact that I told you about the other conversation. Tracks. Yeah. And she said, I need to earn her trust back. Did she Is say how? That's something no, you she are didn't. interested in doing? So here's here's the thing with with Val. She's only part of herself. Um and without being whole, she can't move on. So I don't If there is a way to free a soul from a will-o'-the-wisp, we can find it. We don't need to depend on 
a vengeful and hateful God. You know, though, I'm starting to think that Luna might be that too. I didn't say we depend on her either. We can go to the library. I'll go with you. What, uh, get some tea and put on some music and we can read all about will of the wisps oswald can tell us I... all he knows he's he's into dead things he might know i mean that's absolutely right we can find other solutions there's we're never locked into one solution um aurora i just want to ask though like because you, you you said about you know vengeful what what has your experience with it? like I I don't know like I I'm I'm just curious about the vengeful thing. No, oh. she is angry and aggressive. Mm-hmm. Uh, she likes to taunt and tease, and if you cross her, she will punish you. And she won't let you go once she has you. Ow. <laughs> Ow. How, how Sorry, I thought I was I thought I was muted. Sorry. Getting attacked by my cat. <laughs> okay, asshole. How DM, she... how how would I like how would I describe like obviously Sin has a lot of trauma around Nixaria that we haven't really like got into exact like details. Um I think it has a lot to do with just like tormenting like she she uh in dreams will she taunts basically... you she definitely makes fun of you um but she was Yells. never she, like she like pull like in my dream she'll like rip me right up to her and like hiss in my face and uh um, she's always around the corner and i can always so hear her voices up until now in the game that has never happened to you i thought we role played that no nope. like she like got in my face in a dream it was like she really scary walked, she walked up to you and got into your face oh, um, i totally misunderstood that encounter i thought she was like taking control of me and bullying me <laughs> no she walked she walked up to you and and was angry um but she up until up until now your encounters with nixaria have been i mean mostly just threats and like verbal abuse not up until the last little bit up uh, we have the whole game until now and she was like just um you were amusing she liked you she favored you for sure she um helped delphra for you mm-hmm. uh, but she it was always you. like like a little like uh, there's always like a darkness i can see how you would see that because you are definitely uh fully like against her you were raised as as sin is very afraid of her yeah, very, but very she, afraid of her. In up until like canonically in the game, what has been shown is that she's just been very interested in you. Am I wrong with that? It, anyone that remembers, right? Like so. she's just been very okay. interested in you. Yeah. Uh, she's wanted something from you, but she hasn't said yet. Okay, then maybe um, I don't say all those things that I just said because I'm not trying to accidentally retcon. You don't, it's not, the thing is, if you're saying that, Sin would believe that, though. Okay. Mm. Okay. I know she's really scary when she yells at me. Okay. Well, well how she, she, you said she punished you, how? Again, that was me believing, Scarlet believing that she was actually abusing me. I guess I misunderstood she's verbally she okay she yells at me she punishes me with her words oh okay <laughs> she threatens to punish i think yeah she she has threatened to punish you as of definitely the last two times you've had encounters with her she okay. does not like what you're doing yeah she does she wants us to stop and i did tell her no we're not going to stop until she gives me a good reason to stop and she won't give me a good reason so I'm proud of you, Aurora. Oh. Yeah. Well, thank you, but we'll see what happens. If I can get more information, I will. She doesn't want to let us know why. That is 
ringing some alarm bells for me if she's hiding something and doesn't Most want cats me to like know. to hide things, don't they? Maybe she's afraid. Maybe she doesn't have it in the bag as much as she acts like she does. Hmm. Well, what would scare a god? I mean, if because... she's doing, so go on. If she's doing, if she's planning to do some kind of, we know she's planning to do some kind of ritual or something at the time of the convergence, which is right. what two months away, and she doesn't want us that... to get in the way of that. She said that exactly. Very clearly. Yeah, and we are by by going after these stones, we are directly going against that by trying to stop the whole thing from happening right i told her i couldn't let it happen because i didn't want everyone to die and she said i've taken care of it but she did not elaborate meaning like it could mean anything right it it could mean their lives don't matter so don't worry about it or they're better off in the spirit world so don't worry about it or they're not going to die don't but i feel like if that was the case if they weren't going to get if no one was going to die and this wasn't a cataclysmic event then she would have just clarified instead of just saying don't worry about it yeah it's certainly a weird it's certainly a weird phrase to choose Yeah, so she warned me not to go after the stones, but um, I told her unless she can give me a good reason not to, that that wasn't going to happen. Maybe she'll change her mind and be a little bit more forthright if we are successful and she starts to realize that her plans might not work out. Do we know how Luna feels about this ritual? I think Luna's being stopped by Nixaria. I mean... Considering that she, based on what I've heard, I mean, gods visit dreams. Dreams are the best place to talk to people if you're an otherworldly entity, right? So You haven't told her about it. I mean, mm. had, okay. she's probably trying, but the, wi the wires are crossed right, somewhere. I wonder, I wonder if that's why, because she, she asked me last night, she asked me why was Nixaria so angry? And I just said, well, maybe you should talk to her. Um, I didn't really think it was my place to be like a messenger between them, you know? Um, but that, that could have been, I mean, so many different things, though. I mean, Luna may know about the convergence without us having to tell her. Why don't we yeah. just ask her? We could ask Luna how she feels about the idea. convergence. Maybe she has an idea yeah. how to stop it if it's not something she wants. But wow. we were part of or are part of her covenant, Clerg if you will, clergy. Like, couldn't we just almost summon Dot, dot, dot. I don't, I don't think you can crying. summon gods like mm -hmm. that. But if we pray really hard, maybe. Shall we yeah. pray really hard, ladies? I hold my Annie, hands out. Let's make a Annie, circle. And he's going to look at I the mean, shrine that we're in. At least the shrine yeah. that you're going to pray to another god in a shrine of, Mag of Magira. Yeah. Do they yeah, get along, maybe. Luda and Magira? I mean, or why don't we ask Magira? Uh, we, we, we can. Why don't do we that? ask I another vote, god? I vote, what I vote, the hell is going on? I vote Delphra to ask. <laughs> Go on, uh, Delphra. 100% you can do that. We'll take a five minute break so you guys can like stretch your legs and then we'll we'll start from there. Uh, Daniel? Dave? Dave? It's actually really cute. That is a good mm -hmm. piece. The fan art is adorable. They're just smiling. I oh know. <laughs> <laughs> Love them. They're drinking tea together. Yeah, they're um, telling a story. They're like, oh, that's so what it is. In this book. Uh huh. They're so cute. Um, <laughs> he's definitely going to end up reading the 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 smut books that you read because of, of that. Smut <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to borrow my Archfey and Princess? Of course. And then he reads the whole thing and is like, um, yes, I need more is of these. Is it like Kakashi where he's always reading his naughty book, even when he's like teaching the student ninjas? 
No. <laughs> but you'll get him into it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you guys are... You wanted to try and contact the god? The goddess Megira? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Um, I want to talk to the goddess of magic. What are you yeah, doing? Are we throwing me out there? Am I, am I Leroy Jenkins' of shit? Mm-hmm. Yep. How is this working? Like, what are you doing? What's yep. the plan? <laughs> we could, like, join hands and, like, use our, like, ch- power to do a joint prayer. Or we can just pick Delphra up and shoot her at the, the love her at the statue. Just, like, yeah. splash the Pikachu. statue. Um, What could possibly go wrong? I'm going to just go up to the statue and kneel and just start, like, respectfully praying. Asking okay. her to come and... Uh, we need some advice, Mommy. ...chat and give us an outside perspective of what is going on and uh, how not to die. 101. <laughs> okay. Um... Roll me religion. You can can do we it. give her the help action? By, ah, Jesus Christ! Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, you can roll with it. I, I got got that twenty. Uh, uh, yeah. <gasps> okay, she doesn't even need the help. Um, Delphra. That's what me. Is so, what are you asking her specifically? Um, kind of like. Almost like a menagerie of questions, mostly like if she has any guidance on our journey, if she knows what the convergence is and has an opinion on it. And um, oh, and not just the convergence, because that seems to be happening regardless, but what Nix's ritual plan yeah, like is. What, what her opinion is on the two sisters that seem to be fighting and basically going to make the moon explode. Yeah, like... These are all great questions, Delphi. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anything else? <laughs> no, that's it. That's all I got. That's all I got. Oh, how not to die 101. If she has a manual on that, that'd be great. Do we, do we want to ask her about the godstone that we're currently looking at? Like her godstone? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that yes. might be a good idea. You yeah. know? M- <laughs> what about the idea. godstone? Yeah. What is it that you are looking for? How uh, to obtain it. Mm-hmm. Well, didn't didn't we have to like uh, win her favor or prove ourselves worthy to her or something to Megira? That's just the cov- you read about the covenant to uh, to use the Godstone. If she needs me to grow something, I, it's not happening because I don't got that spell. Okay, but so what I'm saying is the question is how do we prove ourselves worthy to you? Yeah, do we? Do we need to use the Godstone is the question. Like, or do we just need to get it? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, <laughs> here's what we're going to do. There's a lot of questions here. Uh, the statue of the woman with the beautiful wings begins to move. And you hear the sound of stone on stone rubbing together. Pieces of the statue crumble away as she, as it comes to life and animates. And she takes you all in. That purple glow that the statue had been giving off um, just gets amplified and takes over this whole space. And she regards you. She doesn't say anything yet. She just regards you. What do you do? <laughs> wave. Hi. Just wave her. <laughs> okay. You wave at her. And she goes, I don't often answer prayers. I appreciate you coming. You did catch my interest. What is it that you wish to ask for? Your guidance. 
with what? Our journey and the twin sisters of the moon. Hmm. Ask your questions, moonlings. Uh, a dopper? <laughs> Hi! Are she you... just freezes in front of this are woman. You... <laughs> are, are you gonna ask what we have her here before she leaves? Uh, 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 what question am I starting with, guys? <laughs> what? what? What's going, what's happening with the Convergence? What are they planning? Yeah. We seek wisdom on the Convergence and the intentions of the Twin Moons. I just made that title up. I don't know. It sounded cool. How yeah. would I know the moon's intentions when I am not them? The gods but don't for talk. the convergence. Does the convergence affect you in any way? There are very many questions coming at me at once. Do we talk sometimes? Does the convergence affect me? It affects us all. Does it affect you in a negative way? Or in a bad way? That very much depends on what you are looking for. The convergence opens a doorway from this realm to others. And what's where gods this? can freely come and go as they please. Is there a way to close this door? There might be. Why? What is it that you are looking for? That? I'm not sure not the sure. gods should be on our realm in that oh. capacity. Is that so? Well, then I'll leave then, shall I? No, 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 no. that's not, that's not what I mean. That's not if, what I mean. Have you heard anything about Nixaria and her ritual that she plans on performing? She smiles. Oh, that's a yes. Is that something you would like to see happen too? Nixaria wishes to go home. Why would I stop her from doing that? What does that mean? I thought her home was the moon. I thought she was already there. No, that is her domain. It's not her home. Where is her home? In another plane of existence where deities reside. We all we come what? and go as we please. Is she, we if she is successful, home. what does that mean for our world? She shrugs. It's never is... happened before. Nexaria has never been home before. She's never been away from her sister before. Oh, right. Okay. okay. Maybe it's time they both go home. But then we it's won't not have a your moon. decision to make. No. Well, the thing is, we have, it seems we have been tasked with something that almost does kind of make it our decision to make because we've been tasked with stopping the ritual. Mm. Well. So you are tasking yourselves with keeping Nixaria here, not sending Luna home. Does Luna want to go home? I think Luna's quite happy where she is. I'm going to so, turn to... The, oh, wait, yeah. Get all your questions out because I have thoughts. So um, the ritual would only let Nixaria go, or, or, or is the ritual like a separation thing that would does is does the ritual cut the ties between them? If one deity stays and one leaves, then it is a separation, isn't it? 
So then they're already separated. You see her just, there's a moment where she just like, I don't speak to people without a fucking six intelligence, at least. Like, uh, uh, (laughs) I think what she means is they are currently joined. Nixari is unhappy with her station and wants to change that. And therefore she is performing a ritual because right now Nixari and Luna are two sides of the same coin. Nixaria seems to be viewed as the bad side of this coin, and I can see why that would get annoying after a long time, and maybe she just doesn't want to play the game anymore and wants to go home. However, we don't know what physical repercussions that could lead to our world. Does that mean the moon explodes and rains terror down on the world? Does it just mean the moon is full all the time? Does it mean the tides drowned us all? That's, I think, what we need we have been i don't remember who told us we kind of have the impression that if she's successful it's going to be a catastrophe like it's going to be a cataclysmic apocalyptic event mm-hmm. um yes, that's what I, the prince thinks yeah that's what the prince thinks um and there's no reason why we shouldn't keep like like keep that in mind but if she goes home like the other goddesses and gods can't she come like it sounds like she wants to leave this world behind and doesn't want anything to do with it that yeah that's my question it's like can she not influence it from home no she can oh that's uh that's uh that's yeah um, it sounds like she wants to go here she wants to leave leave for cigarettes she wants to go get cigarettes. Oh my she's God. she's planning to leave for cigarettes and never come back. <laughs> I gotta go get some milk. Um, dear goddess, um, respectfully asking, we have this task, and I'm not so well versed in the gods quite so, but if possible, would you happen to know the names? of the god of weather and the god of water Hmm. that's a good question do you believe that the stones are with the gods i don't know exactly what the stones mean other than they are the god stones and that they are well stone stones from a god as she scratches her cheek a little bit i don't want to make any in the windows from this whole situation you don't want to mention swords or snow <laughs> no, or no 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 plants no. or potatoes let's or let's peaches not. or tacos let's not. Let, it would I'm be trying. a good starting serious, point serious. whether or not the godstones yeah. are with their gods it would be a good starting point for research purposes because i mean in my community we had a godstone we were tasked to look after one the the nebula and um obviously we failed at it and i'm just asking if the other godstones are where they're supposed to be why do you assume that the godstones are supposed to be anywhere don't they belong to a god? Shouldn't no. they be go back to the god they belong to? No. They are they simply don't. a place where we have touched the earth. Are they? And a correlation of our power created the stone. Do you not have any emotional attachment to the stone? Are they just a simply uh, effect of... They're not sacred to you. They're just a... a why would they be sacred to me when I could make as many as I want? That is, hey, do you want to make us one right now? I'm just kidding. I don't say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> are there are there more than one then? Of are... the God stones, I believe you are looking for six. One of. I each. mean, I, I mean, mean more of... than one of each. Like, are there so... multiple diamonds or multiple nebulas? Right, diamonds like yours. I've only been to Estelia once. Oh. 
But if you'd been there more than once, would there be more than one stone? Why would I give the world another gift? I've already been there. I've given you my gift. Use it as you will. Do you know oh. where it is at the moment? In Mossy Brook. Bark. That's me. I'm trying <laughs> to find the other names for these gods. And how would we obtain it specifically, if you will? You take it. From who? From the sisters that are there. And the ones the, that are currently using it. The sisters thrice is tragic? I suppose that would be them. Why is it tragic? You guys are really asking a lot, huh? Hey, we um, are in the presence of a goddess. We are going to make as yeah. do with the time we have. And we're so grateful we are we are so grateful i am such a fan love your work i'm so excited you responded to us yeah it's it's amazing to be in the presence of the goddess of magic as a sorcerer it's um i am inspired the sister also you're really really pretty so i am aware i just thought i would <laughs> throw that in there since i haven't said anything love, at all i love her <laughs> not susceptible to flattery at all she's like, i'm just i'm not flat it's not flattery for for like to get anything it's just i haven't said a, a single thing and i'm just like i should probably throw something that in there, is but very I... very on brand for um, <laughs> rosalind you are it really so is. pretty <sighs> it really is like, on brand. Dude, <laughs> is rosalind our like high school cool girl slash mean girl if you're on the wrong am side i regina george yeah are you regina george i might be regina george Oh, God. I'm so in love with Renee Rap. <sighs> anyway. Uh, she looks at you and she goes, sorry, what was the question that we asked here? <laughs> I, why are, uh, why are the two questions tragic? The sisters try thrice is tragic. You mean the hags? Oh. Oh, oh. Well, that's going to be fun. And the tragic would be the people killed to maintain the town the hags are they oh. hags or are they crows she looks at you hags i did not misspeak oh boy yeah it's you not know, i was just wondering if they didn't if they received a horrible name by the townspeople for some so misogyny that... well she did just say that they're the sacrificing hags are the people creatures. often they're not human. They're not elf. They are fae. Hags. Oh boy. Damn. She looks at a little. She looks at Sin with approval. <laughs> she looks. At, I, she's like afraid. I okay. Maybe Sin, yay or nay. But I think she knows how to conduct herself in the presence of divinity, at least through training. So she's being as respectful as she can. And yeah, when she notices her eyes on her, she'll kind of like bow her head a little bit uh, and not push her luck. The I was just gods. hoping it wasn't going to be hags. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the that's entirely that fair because hags for. are scary. Yes, yes. Like the they're, they're scary bad. They're hard to beat. So okay. violent too. Um, oh, I was asking for the name, but like, my God. Good thing that it's not oh, a Oh, the then. god of water and the god of... Um, of, of, of... Weather. Weather. Did you say good thing it's not a coven? I might have, yeah. There are three we, of them. It is a coven. Yeah, I was going to say three. <sighs> yeah. It was yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Oh, it was I, didn't, I didn't pick up on that. Oh, she's funny. Wait, I like her. <laughs> do, do, are these hags in your favor? <laughs> They have strong magics. Would you mind if we took the stone from them? Is that going to offend you? If you manage to take the stone from them, then you deserve it. That, I, <laughs> that's agree. how we get her favor. Fuck me. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt an MAU's question. Sorry. The god of weather 
when when he came down, his name is Stratos. The god of what is it? You wanted water? Water. The god of water. His name is Nerus. And she looks at you and she's going to be a little helpful. A little more helpful than what she's being. The goddess of war. Her name was Bellona. And the goddess of light is Vivara. Life. My bad. You already mm -hmm. have the stone for the god of death. Um, Anemone will bow, yes, um, Nergalanu, the night sentinel. Well, foolish of you to take it with you, though. Wait, I thought we left it in our special little spot. No one said that. Oh, I thought we did, we even, like, designated a No one even pedestal. asked the prince. Can no, Anemone is going to look. Anemone is going to look to make a big walk-in closet for the stones. Okay, we can say there. we can definitely say you did that. Okay? Thank you. Oh my also, God. we have a sending stone. We could just ask the prince right now. Yeah, you would have to go back and give it to him. No, I do remember we made plans to have like a cute little mm. display, and like I, I, I thought that was my assumption. I am so sorry, Dungeon Mistress, for not. It's okay. It's was, okay. You guys just didn't it. do it in game. That's totally cool. Okay. It, we can say that that okay. was done. He's okay. created yeah. a vault for you. Definitely would want to carry it with us. <laughs> uh, I mean, I left my books and my teacups back home. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and, 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 who had the stone because i don't know was it annie who had the stone annie had it yeah. but annie we were it. discussing creating like a little vault to keep them in so we could go back yeah. and forth to each in our little like yeah. legend of zelda style collection and then, then that was not in that was not that was the game i wasn't present so mm -hmm. um uh canonically if we if it's all right our sh shenanigan sovereign annie would be would give it to to Aurora to ensure its safety and security while also being like, you better keep it safe. Oh, I left it back in the. In yeah, the we've, we, we've left yeah. it at the castle. It's in its vault. But okay, we cool. commissioned a beautiful walk in closet, and they each have a little pedestal with like a little. Okay like a little label for each one where you push the button and it says this is the stone of the nebulous and it lights From, up and then it gives like a little history of it yeah it's like a little museum <laughs> the stone of magira was once yes that is exactly what happens <laughs> uh thank you we... so much um does, goddess does anyone else have any questions because i have one do last you, one question do you know who the swimming queen is is that the I water? haven't gotten there as a DM yet. It's okay. <laughs> uh, she looks at you and she's going to say, You mean the Mer Queen? Ariel? I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, those hot, those hot mermaids from Peter Pan. They're that was bitchy, like... though. I don't like yeah, them. Yeah, but they're, they were like the, the, the first indication that I really should have known that I wasn't straight. We were only trying to drown her. Yeah, but like, yeah, you know what? Also... It is drowning queen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did I just, anyway? Did I just tickle your brain? <laughs> you did tickle my brain because you did the exact thing, and it's just like, oh god. Oh. We didn't mean it. We were all they see. They are the they're school mean girls. Yeah, it's they're Ross, yeah. yeah. Okay, they're, they're the what? plastics. There are three of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Peter, Peter. <laughs> But they're so uh, pretty. <laughs> Sorry. Do you have one more She's question, leave. Delphra? Did she leave? Uh, <gasps> oh, I want to hear the question. Did What's the question? Uh, I'm going to look at her and just like kind of like very shyly ask, you know so much. Do you know where I'm from? She... Regards you. I'm gonna make a roll. Oh, she's got such good intelligence. Okay, not here, not this world. 
Can you tell me where? A realm of greenery. Do you know Lots. how I got here? No. I'm not diviner. She's just divine. Oh, Moss, mm -hmm. is, Moss is green. I um, I appreciate you answering me. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, then she looks at you one more time and goes, Twilight Harbor is where the swimming queen resides. <laughs> And she leaves. The statue goes back into its original form. Sin will reverently approach the statue and put her hand kind of on a piece of it. And she is going to uh, spend both of her spell slots as an offering of gratitude. Like you spend both of your spell thoughts sending the magic into this uh, statue. And when your hand comes away from the statue, it has six pearls in it. Oh. You want to make me an arcana check? Yeah, I'm not good at those, but I will. Okay, here we go. go oh, wait, can, can, I, can I? Can I, can I, I like aid? aid? Yes. And okay. you can have guidance, like if oh, guidance. you have a cleric. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, did you say I do get aid? You have help. You can do it with advantage. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I rolled the same exact thing with both rolls. I got an 11. An 11. Uh, I'm going to look around and be like, I, I just found these in my hand. <laughs> Does that include guidance? Yeah, the that's 11? with the guidance. Yeah. Um, I did not build this character around Arcana religion, and I fucking should have because she's bookie. <laughs> what do you, does anyone else want to help there? Can yeah, I help? I'll, I'll help. Arcana, yeah. Right? I'm gonna just show yeah. it to everyone. Uh, and Cappy, go, why don't you roll mm -hmm. for it? Oh, okay. Guidance. Ten. Oh, that's not a good face. Oh, <laughs> no. oh wow. Okay, could, so, could, I, could I use a history That is check? the highest can roll, I, by the I way, help? of the night, is a nine. Can I oh, help? Because I'm on a um, roll for some you, of it. You can do it with advantage if, if, you're, if she's helping. Oh, wait. I did not add my modifier to that. Oopsie. It's a 13. But a 13. Still. Again, you but, can do it with advantage if she's if you're getting help from Delphra. And we was that with guys you well? guys fucking believe I rolled another nine. Oh, okay, so here's what try? you know. Can I try? Here's what you know. You have <laughs> magic pearls, um, Ooh. and you're not entirely sure what they do, but you can tell that they're a single use, um, and you have to crush them to have them to work for them to work. So I have to crush them ahead of time, or can I like use an action and have a no? You have pearl? to. You will have to um, do it. Uh, fuck it. I'll just tell you what they do. So but you, you want me to will... pull a Delphra? I can pull before a Delphra before you tell us. And grab before you tell us, I was going to say, sure, yeah, we, go... Wouldn't it be so funny to be in the middle of combat and just look at the pearl and go, "I choose you," and just see what happens, <laughs> and just see what happens? Yeah, you can yeah, definitely do that. Do that. Mm -hmm. Or or Delphra can just grab one out of your hand, and go, "Hmm." Uh, God, wait, well, that was Delphra's. I'm just going to hand everyone a pearl and be like, "I, um, Magira gave this to me just now." I wasn't expecting reciprocation. Is it a bomb? Maybe. What does it do? I don't know. Do it's the goddess of magic. <laughs> my my mind is not on magic right now. Okay, thanks. You can try another time. Yeah. We okay, ladies, when I get a new Eldritch incantation, I am taking the identify or detect <laughs> magic. Well, I have a plus four to arcana. So, oh, go ahead. Have you... Guidance. 24. Oh, there we no, go. No, not 24, 23. There Math. we go. Art. So if you use them as an action in and consume them as an action in combat, you will regain 
a third level spell slot. If Ooh, you let's go. use them as bonus action, you will get a second level spell slot. And that's what you return. Or if you don't have one and it's a first level, you'll get that back. As a warlock, I only have one spell slot. So do I use it as an action or a bonus action? Just use yours as a bonus action. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't matter for you. Maybe. Yeah. That was nice Let's of go. her. Wow. Maybe we should convert to the religion of Magira because it sounds like she answers prayers. I don't know. I want to know where I'm from, dude. <laughs> I, I'm just so going to remind have, you I that. I honestly girls, considered that. Just you have literally <laughs> read the book where it says that she doesn't often answer. That's mm. true. She likes yeah. us, though. She likes us. She's probably also very curious. Yeah. There's a lot of people showing up on her doorstep. So you think yeah. we can beat three hags? Ah, I don't know, man. Oh, We're like level hags. four like characters. Pretty sure, pretty sure hags are what killed our characters in Strahd. Maybe mm, we, we could, can we get them try alone. to sneak in. They're a lot harder when they're together in their coven, right? We we could try to reason with them. I have you, don't you have to make stealers? bargains, though? Speaking I... of reasoning, hmm. I had a thought. Oh, no. That's dangerous. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. If Nixaria is leaving because she doesn't feel appreciated, what if we could convince her to stay? This whole country is her domain. There are people here who worship her. Just a I mean, thought. That's worth considering. It you sounds know. like you and Rosalind could make her feel more appreciated. She doesn't talk to me. I've been afraid of her. My whole life I've been afraid of her as... I've been, I was trained from a child to be a priestess of Luna. When I started hearing her voice, her voice for the first time, terrifying, I've closed myself as much as I could because I've been trying so hard to get back into Luna's good graces. Did we ever think that maybe... They closed you off and they made you afraid of her because you could be more with her? I have never considered that in my entire life, but all things considered. What if you are the most powerful of us all? And it's I am because... a warlock. No, just kidding. Yeah, right. <laughs> <just> um kidding. <laughs> Okay. Eldritch Blast. Um, <laughs> what if they closed you off from her to hold you back? She doesn't feel insidious to me. She doesn't after your last conversation with her? She was pissed. I, I feel mean? like she was rightly pissed off. I'm I will be honest with all of you. We've been traveling for, what is it, DM, like a few months since the first mission to get the Moonstone back? You guys have been doing this for three weeks. Oh. <laughs> um, I have been actively shutting her out because I was afraid that she would try to hurt you through me, which is why I have been very closed to her. I am, uh, it's kind of scary. I'm willing to speak with her, but I would want you all to know that I was speaking with her because it always felt like a, it felt deceptive. It felt like I would be betraying all of you if I were to have an open channel with the direct antagonist to our religion. Do you Not want dead. me to be there with you? I'll throw a fork at her. It's a very personal thing. She knows things about me and 
That's I don't okay. know. Honest. I don't know if she wants to speak to me. I'm just saying I Honestly, have resisted Sam, and pushed her away. You have my full Talk blessing to, to open a channel. Yeah. And Arar. if anything happens, we're here. Arar, um, it sounds like you still have secrets. It's not, a, it's not secrets. It's just, have you ever had, it's personal. It's not a secret. If you want to know, do you want to know why? Is that what you mean? Do you want to know why? I just, you said that you didn't want us to be there because there were things that Nixaria knew about you that we didn't. It's it's more per it's family stuff. She dragged my laundry into the open air. It's not about it's not about secrets. It's just I don't feel comfortable having conversations with an audience. And and then and you know what? That's fine. And you can share with us when you're ready. But in the meantime, we're here when you need us. And what you have to do, you do. And we're not going to judge you. Okay. We'll, we'll see what happens. But I'll keep that in mind. I just... And when in doubt, she is I have very watched. scary. She is uh, very scary. Uh, maybe. But maybe she's only scary because you're not giving her a chance to talk. I think you're right. Thank you. We have, we, I feel like we have a lot of information now. We know where we need to find everything. Right? Except my home, but yeah. <laughs> well, we have almost everything we need. <laughs> Sounds like you're from another plane of existence. Yeah. That's fascinating. Hmm. I don't know how I got here. Oh, yeah. Does hmm. anybody have any, any ideas what this green place is? Is that Moss, Mossy... Baywild? Mossy Brook, maybe? Mm -hmm. No, I mean... That's what I was thinking. Is that a different I... world? Like a different dimension? Yeah. No, that's literally on this planet, guys. That's fair. Yeah. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm apparently not even from this world. You're um, an alien. Hmm. I'm an oh. alien. E.T. <laughs> phone home. <laughs> hey, does anyone have like detect good and evil? I think we could figure out if she's a fae. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, good. Can good someone point. figure out if I'm a fae? Yeah. <laughs> can I? Can I? Having fae magic, can I do some sort of test? Maybe uh, Fleety would Arcana, know. Maybe. Maybe Fleety would know. Maybe. Um, you can make an Arcana check. Okay. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I don't even know. Nice. I mean, she, she is, a oh, it's definitely Ooh. not fey magic. Okay. Woo! Oh. Okay. Okay, not fey, which I guess is a good thing because we don't really need any more fey bargains. <laughs> Somewhere, Fleety falls over, his clutching his heart. Hey, how does he know? Because <gasps> we had a conversation. He just, about he this. just, it's not. He just, you know, feels the betrayal, oh, and no. and clutches his heart. I'm kidding. I need to. Be, I, look, I don't Fleety, think she's kidding. Don't. Fleety is on my fan art list. <laughs> mm. Um, speaking of fey bargains, mm -hmm. I I talked to Fleety, and well, first off, he said that he's never been invisible around us except for when I asked him to be. So that's a good thing. He can't lie. So at least we know that, and that's point of point of interest. And you can correct me if I'm wrong. The whole thing about Faye not being able to lie, mm -hmm. I've been told, could be incorrect, but definitely Faye or lean into that assumption because it benefits them. They can't. So if we want to go into legit folklore, they can't lie, but they can skirt it. That's, they can that's like, exactly what mm -hmm. he does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can like say things in a twisty way yeah though i have also so again it really just depends on the lore you're drawing from because i've ha watched whole videos about they can actually lie to you that is a misconception and they lean into that so that you believe oh. that they can't lie so that they oh, can no. lie to you they they, they can they just speak. not like okay not telling you something is not lying to you 
Exactly. Or talking or around words. in circles is not lying to you. Yeah, like like the literal words. It's like it's it has nothing to do with intention. They can intentionally lie to you, but the words can be you know, like kind of like the around. give me your hand. Um, yeah. So for for our the lore that matters is the lore in this in yeah, this yeah, world. Yeah. So for that, he can talk around you. He can talk around what you're asking him. He can't directly lie. So he can't say a, an untrue statement. No, he cannot. But he can say a true statement with the intention of misleading you into thinking he means something else. Yes. Okay. So I was very direct and complete in my question. And so I'm okay. fairly certain that he actually hasn't been invisible around us. But so that's the good news. Um, and also that he did tell me that he is not the god of winter. And he also said that it's not his realm, but that he does have the sapphire godstone. But then the, the the, uh, the bad news did, is... Did he say it or did he just smile at you very charmingly? Well, he did both, but... Okay. Um, But I, he said, I am not the god of weather. No, um, he's the god of, of Eustace. He's... Well, he, I thought because Eustace of the wizard. sapphire crown that maybe... But it sounds like the gods don't actually have the things... But anyway, so he said that he won't give me the godstone unless I marry him. And that if he breaks the bargain, that my brothers might die. So. Mm. We need I, to figure that out, actually. That is seems like a, a point of interest. A very important distinction, I think. Being Look, I've read a, a lot of face mutt. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an incorrect statement. <laughs> it there has to be a way of getting the stone without him forcing Cappy to marry him just to get the stone there has to be a way we can do it well let's figure out how to get the first stone first it's at this point where Diana has yeah. like walked back mm -hmm. oh we're having Hi, lunch Diana. chill Hey. It's been about an hour or so. Everything hasn't it? is fine. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, should probably get going, right? Yeah. If you're done, why don't you make him a deal? He can't refuse. Lady. What's a deal? He can't refuse. How should I know? We mean make him trade. Well, you suggest it. He's a fae. You want something from him? Make a deal. What if we give him all of the godstones we, once we're done with them? We don't know. Oh what he boy, wants. I feel like that dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. You probably I don't see how that could first. go wrong at all. No, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's mm. Santa Claus. Come on. He's my childhood hero. Do you know how many letters I've wrote to you, Fleety? Or sorry, Cappy. You know, next time you and Fleety are having a conversation. Um, could you ask him if he's been receiving my niece's letters? She writes to him every year. <laughs> I sure. I, I yeah. I guess I could ask. Okay. I suppose would... he does have all the time in the world, so you know. It's just it's so important to her. She's been wanting a cream-colored pony for so many years now. With sparkles, oh, maybe she, a little horror. Quote unquote. Does she also she. like crisp apple strudel? Crisp <laughs> apple strudel and schnitzel with schnitzel noodles. noodles. <laughs> with wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings and Those brown paper packages. Favorite things. <laughs> uh I think we'll call the session here. Mm. You guys can pick up <laughs> the session with your traveling. As we devolve into fucking set of music. Did I sing yeah. that song. That's one of my Leo has a play. I sing him a little playlist. That's one of the songs on the list. Mm -hmm. He likes that one so much. That's it's my really favorite non Christmas Christmas song. Is that considered a Christmas song? It is. It's on a fuck ton of Christmas albums. Oh, I out didn't there. even know that. That's so yeah. cute. Just because it mentions winter. It's oh. like enough, I guess. And it's like and presents. Yeah. yeah. That's so cute. It is very cute. 
I'm Lysney Stars, and I've been your shenanigan sovereign. <laughs> Clover. Uh, I'm Jennifer, Linen and Spice. I've been, um, what's my damn character's name? I've been Clover. Clover. Yeah, I told <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's fine. We know what we're doing. It's fine. Mm-hmm. That's me. Hi, I'm Delphra. I play a druid. Uh, I'm also Mommy Kalik, and I run Goddess Teacup, and I will see you next time. Gemma Revan. Hi, I'm GM of Revan. You can call me in. I play Anemone in this game, and I'm a little bit sleepy. I'm sorry. Um, if uh, oh, Celeste, well, well, why you take over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Star Rose. <gasps> Hi, I'm Star. I've been Cappy tonight, and uh, you can find me at Star Mama C on TikTok. Everywhere else, uh, characters without stories, which is the name of my podcast, uh, where I interview people about characters they haven't had a chance to play yet. I'm going to pass it to Katie. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm Dungeon Mistress Katie and all the things. Um, and tonight I was Razan Alara. Um, and I wasn't particularly helpful tonight, but it's okay. Uh, you were Scarlet. amazing. Uh, I was kind of quiet, but that's okay. It doesn't I don't always need to talk. Scarlet. <laughs> Hi, I'm Scarlet. Um, I am the mother of dessert dragons. Uh, I'm working on a super secret project with someone else right now that I can't give too many details, but it's going to be cool. Uh, and I was playing Sin, your, I feel like Sin is becoming less and less emo. I might have to course correct there and start yeah. like getting super duper dark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, who hasn't gone yet? No, I think that's it. Okay, everybody. Uh, we'll see you not next week, but the week after. Um, mm. yes, Daniel. 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 Daniel.